Staying with the internet, a social media giant is making its stock market debut. Reddit. I'm sure you've used it or heard of it. Reddit is different from platforms like Instagram or X, also a bit complicated. Reddit has communities for most topics, say religion or space or politics. A user, or Redditor as they're called, can post content on these communities. It can be a question or a thread or a media file, anything. Other users then engage and vote on it. More votes equal higher position. Reddit has a name for these votes as well. They're called karma. Unlike X or Instagram, Reddit posts tend to be more expansive and sometimes problematic. We'll get to that later. But first, let's talk about the numbers. Reddit is looking to sell 10% of its shares. The company will be listed on the New York Stock Exchange next month. And the offer price? Not determined yet. Now, before any IPO, you must disclose financial details. And Reddit has done the same. It has revealed some interesting details about its investors. At number one is Advance Magazine, the firm behind Condé Nast. They own 30% stake in Reddit. At number two is China's Tencent. They own 11% of Reddit. And at number three is a familiar name, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. He's got 8.7% of the company. Chances are he will get millions from this IPO. We'll get some more numbers out of the way. First is valuation. Reddit raised some money back in 2021. Back then, the company was valued at $10 billion. Next is profits. I'm afraid there isn't any. Reddit reported losses worth $91 million in 2023. But there is a saving grace. The year before, losses were much bigger, almost $158 million. So the losses are actually coming down. Finally, let's look at user base. It's the currency of every social media platform. Reddit has around 267 million active weekly users. 267 million weekly. They're part of 100,000 communities. So that's everything you need to know about the IPO. Now we come to the interesting bits. It's not every day that social media firms hit the stock market. The last one was in 2019. That's, that's when Pinterest went public. Before that, you had Facebook and Twitter, or rather Meta and X. Meta debuted in 2012 for $38 per share. Guess how much it's worth now? Almost $490. So clearly, it's been a success story. But Reddit is not just focused on the money. At least that's what they claim. The company is doing something unusual with this IPO. Usually, the first offerings are made to institutions and investors. Reddit is doing something different. They're giving shares to their users, to these so-called Redditors. And how will they be selected? Based on their karma, believe it or not. So the top Redditors will have a chance to buy the shares. It's on point for the company because Reddit is all about loyal users. But this idea does have a downside. Listen to what the company is saying, and I'm quoting, Redditors' participation in this offering could result in increased volatility in the market price of our Class A common stock. Meaning, Redditors will make the prices volatile, yet the company is going ahead with it. And that's Reddit for you. Its origins are similar to other social media platforms, but the final product is very different. It was founded in a U.S. college dormitory in 2005. It was meant for for banter on culture, but it's now, now carved a niche for itself, one that is different from X or Instagram. It's not all good, though. Reddit communities are sometimes a hub of conspiracy theories about science, about politics, about Hollywood, and, of course, the moon landing. The platform does censor some of the content, but that censorship is highly divisive. One group says it's too much. The other says it's a must for all social media platforms. And with the IPO, all this will be amplified. There will be pressure from shareholders. New investors may bring in new politics. So the question is, can Reddit retain its unique identity? I guess we'll find out soon enough.